All right, so I'm here in my car again, and we're gonna do another test. I'm gonna do a 25 milliwatt versus 700 milliwatt comparison. And I've been at this location before. I'm in a little bit different spot, so you guys probably won't recognize it. I actually put another parking lot here on the far end of this part that I'm uh, normally I'm sitting on here currently. So I'm at 25 milliwatts right now, and then I'll do 700 milliwatts um after this and i'm actually running focus mode off on this test all right so i'm just going to fly nearby first and let's see what this looks like uh, off to my right not too far away a lot of trees here and I'm already getting some red bars. I'm at two bars. And I'm getting a little bit of starting already. So 25 milliwatts, uh, not so great here. I don't really feel any latency here. Let's try that far corner. Uh, it's okay over here, not great. I have one bar now. Yeah, I'm having some latency over here in this section here. There's a lot of um, RF interference here, a lot of Wi-Fi and from the office buildings and there's a large cell tower down in this direction over here. And I'm gonna head that way. So there's this building here. I can't imagine I'll be able to go past uh, to the side of this building over here see what happens so this is this will basically block my signal yep I lost my signal right there and I'm down let's go get the let's go get the drone okay so the drone was fine uh, it was only a few feet off the ground there's a I think there's a power transformer or something down there. I'll, I'll fly by here there in a second and I'll show you that uh, I think maybe that was blocking the signal, most likely. And I'm going to try 700 milliwatts now. So 25 milliwatts in this location, uh, definitely not good for going behind obstacles. It basically, you get um, break up right away and then you lose your signal. So I'm going to try 700 now and let's see if I, I don't know if I'll be able to go behind that transformer or not, but let's give it a shot. I'm on 700 milliwatts now and totally strong signal, four bars. So right here is where there's, I think there's a transformer or something right here. There's some signs saying that it's dangerous to be behind this thing. Pretty sure that's what blocked my signal. Yeah, I'm already getting a loss of bars. I'm at three bars here. So I am, what I'm gonna do is just do a line of sight pure distance test. I don't think it's gonna do well behind this building. So I think I'm gonna have to keep line of sight. There is a cell tower down in this direction. Uh, okay, I still have four bars here, so I have clear line of sight going down in this direction. You can see over here, there's this large cell tower. I'm sure that's pumping out a lot of power. And normally, I can't even fly my crossfire here. I would get random fail safes with 2.4 gigahertz, like Free Sky or Crossfire. Um, but I'm getting totally fine signal here. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of stuttering now. I'm behind all these trees, I'm down to two bars here. All right, so one bar. So focus mode off. Um, seems like uh, you lose the signal a lot quicker if there's things blocking your signal. Right, so there's a lot of things blocking my signal here. If I kept going to my left here, I would probably be in danger of losing Right here, I'm getting a lot of stuttering. I'm 
I'm down to one bar. A lot of things blocking my signal from this location. So I'm going to maintain clear line of sight. I'm just going to keep going down past the cell tower. Still have three bars here. So right here is about 300 meters away from me. I'm pretty sure if I go to my parking lot here on the right, I'm going to get a lot of uh, signal breakup. You know, probably loss of signal. So I think maintaining line of sight is important if you're not going to be using focus mode because you're going to lose the signal a lot quicker, it seems. Alright, wow. So this over here is about 500 meters away. And the signal's nice and clear. Still three bars here. Just going to turn around. And yeah, one bar now when I turned around there. Getting a little bit started. This is about 500 meters away from where I am. So my antennas are behind me, or behind the drone, coming back. So I'm all the way at the end there. That's where I came from. So I think if you're going to be flying where you're going to have like a large building or something completely blocking your signal, it's probably not a good idea to use this system. It's probably going to be okay for walls and like, you know, small obstacles like trees should be okay. But um, like if you're trying to go behind a full building like this right here on my left, that's probably not a good idea. But if I go to over here, this is where I was getting some, I was getting red bars on 25 milliwatts all these trees in the way. Still full bars over here, no problem. Yeah. And if I go behind me over here, this is to my right and behind me. Still full bars. See, there I am over there. Yeah, so I think maintaining line of sight is going to be really important for wherever location you're flying at. So you should keep that in mind. Uh, but 25 milliwatts and a uh, large obstacle is basically a cut off your signal. You know, with very little warning, especially with focus mode off. But you did get a clearer picture the whole time uh, at the expense of um, a little bit of safety. I think I, th I think I would prefer to fly with focus mode on just because you, you get that blurriness and it will give you a little bit of warning because it does lower the bit rate when the signal does degrade a little bit. And you don't have to constantly watch the, the bars on to the lower left side of the screen. Anyway, let me know if you guys found this video helpful. Talk to you guys in the next one.